the first psychiatrist who, who, who looked at me said, look, Ed, this, this isn't surprising. You know, if, if you want to turn a man's brain into mush, you isolate him for extended periods of time. And I think coming out of it, I now feel a, so much more of a sort of emotional balance in life because I do, for example, one of the tools that I was, um, I was sort of suggested to use um, rather than go on any sort of medication when I had that breakdown was, was to meditate. And, and it was actually just the basic um, app Headspace. And it was, you know, it was quite nice to be able to um, do something like meditation, which for a, 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 a fairly stereotypical man like me, to be able to step back from my thoughts and my emotions and actually have a bit of perspective and and um, and calm all of this down was just so refreshing. And I think that if, if it were to take a, a specific thing that I carried with me the most, it is meditation. I do a daily meditation practice and, and it is only a 20 minute um, Headspace app but I just find that resets me massively. I don't actually think it's the hard survival skills, the fire lighting and stuff like that, 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 that make you thrive in those situations. I think it's far more the, 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 the mental side, the psychological side, um, um, in terms of being composed, in terms of um, gathering yourself, in terms of, you know, and that, that was the stuff that I didn't actually know anything about. I'd spent walking the Amazon, having sort of wars in my brain, you know, not really understanding why I was so frustrated, why I was, had such a short temper stuff like that and I think it was actually the the, the island was a catalyst for me for massively for self-awareness being um there were just little glimpses of of peace and serenity like when I was uh, plaiting palm leaves in order to to make a, um, a house I just suddenly feel sort of overwhelmed by a sense of peace and I was doing something positive I was constructive I, I was doing something that was moving me forward but also I was allowing the sort of flow of life to to go as well I don't think anyone really knew whether it was possible to dump someone on an island. And, and remember, I didn't have any food or water or clothes or a knife or a mosquito net or anything. I remember, I remember thinking initially, it's going to take a couple of weeks and I'll get lonely. Um, and the moment that, that they dropped me off and the boat like um, sped off um, past the reef, um, I just I felt like I was going to be sick on the beach. I just felt this I just utterly, utterly overwhelmed. And, and um, I, didn't re I couldn't really quite work out why my brain wasn't functioning. Reflectively, looking back on it, I was just, we're very, very uh, accustomed to leaning on other people for all sorts of different reasons, for, for uh, you know, our whole sense of self. Suddenly, if there's no one there, you get no feedback at all. And, and I think um, the concept that I was, for the first time ever, utterly responsible for, for my food, for my warmth at night, for absolutely everything, just sent me into panic mode.